This is Richard White, and we're going to look at uh, how you can use Word to draw simple illustrations or diagrams for a report or a presentation or something like that. I'm using Word 2008 for a Mac, um, but all versions of Word have similar uh, commands available to them. It's just that the menus might look a little bit different. So uh, I've got my Word document open here, and I'm going to go up here to the View menu and open up the drawing toolbar. The drawing toolbar uh, will show up here. Uh, you can have it or oriented horizontally or vertically. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this. And I'm going to use this to draw some shapes. You can um, put shapes pretty much wherever you want on the screen. If I were going to draw, say, a square here, I could put it right there. Uh, I'm actually going to, I find it helpful to set up a grid here. I'm going to go up to the grid options and select on using the grid in print layout view, which is where I am, and displaying grid lines on the screen. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to see these grid lines. It's going to allow me to orient my objects with, real, uh, with relationship to each other. So let's say I'm going to draw a picture of, um, oh, I don't know, a, a sphere on a ramp, a sphere rolling down a ramp. Here's a nice little triangle shape from the auto shapes that I can use. I'll go ahead and draw that in right here. And if it turns out that you don't like the format of this particular shape here, you can open up the toolbox, or you can double click on this. That'll open up uh, some formatting options for you. I'm going to go ahead and open up the toolbox because that has some additional options that I might want to use. And in here, you can see that there's a line around that shape. I think I'm going to get rid of that line. No line. And maybe I want to make it a red fill here. So I'll choose a slightly different red color there. So there, I'm happy with this shape. I can move it around on the screen. Uh, I now need to put a sphere on top of that. So I'm going to go up to the basic shapes here and choose a shape there. Use the crosshairs to draw this sphere. Uh, I'll make it a 4x4, four four, I guess. I like that. You can use the arrow keys to shift this around. Notice it'll snap to the grid shape there. If you need to do a more finely tuned adjustment, you can go up here again to your grid options and say, you know what, I'm not going to snap the objects to the grid. I'm just going to move them around. And now when I use the arrow keys, I can get very fine tuning on my adjustments there. I'm going to go ahead and turn that snap option back on because I really do like that. I think it's a, a good option for most of what I do. And um, the sphere, I'm going to get rid of that line. Again, I'm not really happy with that line. So there's a nice sphere. And you can choose different shapes. Maybe I want it to be a green color. I should say different fills. Uh, you can go for fill effects down here as well. Um, diagonal down, maybe. I'll choose this one right here. I've got a couple different colors I can use. I'll use a green and then a lighter green, perhaps. And that's a very nice effect. So I'll include that in there. That's starting to look a little bit like a sphere. And maybe I want to include some arrows there, as um, maybe my physics students are doing a free body diagram here. I can choose the arrows that I want to put, include in here. This might be the normal force. I'll choose another arrow and uh, put the force of gravity in there. Put a force of friction. I'll just duplicate that. You can start to duplicate these. And I'll put a force of friction acting here. Um, if you want to put a text box in there, you can click on text box and label that as, say, the force normal. So once you've got this all put together, you've got a, a nice little collection of uh, items here. If you select them all and then group them, that's a nice way to set it up so it's just one big picture. You can drag that picture around and do whatever you want with it. So that's a real quick introduction to drawing objects in Word. I hope that's helpful.